it's 10 23 to be exact <laughs> i don't know why i told you the exact time but it is 10 23 and i have a gym class at quarter past 11. do i look ready for said gym class i don't think i do i've got my water my water why did i just say that my water i've got my water i need to get changed from my pajamas into something gym worthy and go to the gym <sighs> I'm cold as well I do have the window open for Billy I've started thinking about what am I going to do in the winter for Billy when like he wants to be outside but it's literally snowing I can't live with the window open 24 7 I don't know what to do anyway um I need to go get changed I don't know why I'm prattling on about windows I need to go get changed for the gym right now My phone holder is breaking. <laughs> so if it suddenly drops, apologies. Um, I'm at the gym now. All that rush to get ready and get here. I'm now like early, but never mind. Um, my fuel for this morning is the star fruit flavor. I'm still working. I think I've got like three of the little sample sachets left. And then I've got a tub of fruit punch. And a tub of something else i can't remember what flavor that is but i've got to say i've been drinking this on the way here and i think i'm i think this is going to be on my list of repurchases i really like this flavor i wasn't sure whether i would because i'm not really sure what star fruit is or what it tastes like i've never tried it before but this is very very nice i must say my water so this is my water for today i have a different uh bottle that i use for the gym usually um this one is very good for like being in the house in the car whatever but my other pink water bottle that i usually use i actually took to work yesterday and i was in my colleague's car one of the other carers because we like switch over who drives so like if i'm on the same run as her then i'll drive one run she'll drive the other it just makes sense anyway relevant side story there but anyway i left my water bottle in her car so it's currently rolling around her passenger seat um so i've got my huge tumbler for today's class which is by the way i don't think i've mentioned the step class i've been to this i think I, did i come last week or the week before i can't remember but i do remember it being harder than i remembered remember remembered i do remember it being harder than i thought so we'll see how this class goes it's the only class that i've kind of got any interest in today the other ones are like body pump body conditioning abs stuff like that stuff i'm not really that you know hyped about but i'm gonna take my huge <laughs> jug of water in there um yeah i've got time and just finish finish this off you're probably thinking jess why are you still in the car you just said you're going to step class step class was cancelled <laughs> and i haven't got my headphones so i was thinking I was just going to go and do like a regular workout, but then I haven't got my headphones. I'm just going to go later. I'm just going to go later. It's my fault, to be fair. I didn't check the app. So like I have a whiteboard on my fridge where like I've written all the classes that I like going to on each day. So I know what's available to me. Um, and then when I got in, I was like, it's usually a bit busier than this. There was like me sat there with my step ready to go. And then there was like two other people who obviously weren't going to the class, but just doing their own workouts in the studio. And it got to like 10 past and I was like, there's definitely something wrong here. There's usually more people here. And then I look on the app and there's no class to be seen. <laughs> it's obviously been cancelled and I just haven't checked the app. So now I'm like pumped up for no reason. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go home. Emmanuel's asleep as well because he was on night shift last night. When he wakes up, I think he'll probably want to go to the gym. So we'll just go later on when I've got my headphones. Oh, well, it was a nice trip out anyway. Let's just go home. <laughs> la, la, ya, la, ya, la, ya. back from the gym just decided to make some um breakfast to be fair there wasn't very much of the yogurt left so just scraped out the remains as you saw i popped some vanilla flavoring in and then just popped some strawberries on top and i'm gonna have this 
And then I think I'm gonna go down to the allotment because I think there's quite a lot to harvest down there. There is also a lot of work to do in terms of weeding, etc., and general tidy up. So I think my parents are already down there. Um, so I'm gonna go and join them and yeah, we'll see what we get. <laughs> Everything is now washed and ready to be eaten. One thing I do want to get is, do you know those little spikes that you can get to go on each side of the corn? Because whenever I eat corn, I swear to God, I burn my fingers. <laughs> so I'm going to be on the hunt for one of them today, I think. Um, but yes, we've got some potatoes. I did have to get rid of some because they'd been eaten. So yeah, these are the ones that survived. Got a few tomatoes there and some chilies in the bottom, a courgette and a broccoli. Somebody actually, on one of my previous vlogs, somebody referred to it as nature's supermarket and I absolutely love that phrase. So this is nature's supermarket. This is today's instalment. I'm stealing that phrase, <laughs> but yeah. Um, there is some more stuff to get, but I mean, there's loads of corn ready, but we don't want to take too much just in case it starts to go off before we've eaten it. So we'll just pick it as and when we want to eat it. Um, some tomatoes, there's some there that are still green. So just waiting for them to ripen. That was the last of the broccoli, as you probably saw. Um, so we had to cover over that plot. And I think this might be one of the last courgettes that's coming through, but we're just waiting to see kind of what else we get. Although the weather this week or this week upcoming is supposed to be gloriously nice. I have a feeling that the allotment is nearly done for the year. Um, we obviously have those pumpkins, which are huge. We feel like those pumpkins are gonna be ready too soon. Um, so obviously we want them for like Halloween kind of time. Um, we don't really eat them, but more for like decoration. And I feel like they're gonna be done too soon. I don't know how, if there's a way to stall the growth or whatever, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let that stuff dry out and I might have a think of what we can make with it. Yeah. Intuition, just wanna follow intuition All my senses tell me I know what you've been thinking I know, I know. I've been feeling, what if we got up, left this party Cause I can see you're probably gonna be scrolling feeds all night long Your friends Okay, so I've got my lunch If I'm honest, I, I kind of envisaged this to be a little bit more than just sweet potato and spinach, but it is what it is, this is how it came out. <laughs> and I've got my garlic bread, which I just popped some mozzarella on. This is my lunch. Just in Tesco's, trying to find these sweet corn holders. I kind of thought they'd be in like the cook and dine section. Still yet to see it. 
definitely have some on their website though. I thought it would be in kind of like this section where it's got like bits and bobs. But just looking at the mugs again. Um I'll let you know if I find it. Where did all the times go? When did they all pass by? How did I get so lost in a blink of an eye gone? You were just here by my side, everything was nice now I take it, it's all over now Damn, I gotta move on Away from my comfort zone Yeah, I gotta stay strong Even if my wounds open and show Yeah, I gotta live on for the present Know that everything will be okay Just fine, everything will be alright So, as you've just seen, I have tried to make a little chicken euros fake away. I think it's turned out all right. Not too bad. Um, yeah, so we just had it with some chips and some sweet corn. This is the one out of the allotment that we got before, so hopefully it'll be really tasty. But uh, yeah, that is my tea for tonight. All right, so obviously it is a completely different day. <laughs> um, I didn't end the vlog as per usual. So um, that's what I'm here to do. But what I will say is that little clip from me at the gym, I won't lie, is actually from a different day but like the day after I filmed the rest of the vlog um just because like we just didn't fancy going to the gym so we didn't so we went the next day it was actually a body combat class that I went to um which I enjoyed as per usual I do love the body combat classes and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get to a few more of those this week but um yeah I'm sorry that this video has been a little shorter than usual I don't really know what happened I feel like I don't know I don't I don't know anyway um let me know if you want to see more of these what I eat in a day videos obviously I've just finished doing the 75 soft challenge and filming that which was very like food and exercise based but like primarily my channel is like lifestyle stuff but if you want to see some more of these things because I know a few of you would have joined me from those videos um and probably expect to see just Billy trying to climb through the blinds um, and probably expect to see a little bit more kind of relevant vlogs to the ones that you joined me on which I don't know it's hard to keep a balance but I'm trying so um, yeah but let me know if you want to see more of these types of vlogs um, or if you prefer the lifestyle ones I don't know but yeah I'm just going to end this video here I hope that you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and I will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs> Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you.